<laughs> Makere University academic staff says Dr. Stella Nyanzi's suspension sets a bad precedent and is likely to expose those with divergent views to arbitrary actions of the University Appointments Board. Yes, it could be some form of misconduct, but it, the way that misconduct is handled may actually undermine our security as academics and also as employees of the university. And this is where we come. In. The board that sat on Friday resolved to suspend Dr. Stella Nyanzi for her social media posts which criticized the First Lady and Education Minister Janet Museveni. According to the statement authored by the chairperson Bruce Balaba, Nyanzi's writings last with profanities dehumanized the Education Minister who superintends over the university. However, Mwez says much as they don't support Nyanzi's cause language, she was not given a fair hearing by the appointments board. And we begin to think the appointments board then could have made some mistakes. Where? Because to us, we seem to see the appointments board being the complainant, the prosecutor, and the judge. In this case, we do not know whether the first lady, for example, complained. During an interview with NTV on Thursday, Kataham Seven revealed that she had forgiven Nyanzi. I wanted to tell people of goodwill who really were hearing that and and reading it from, I think, the social media, and uh, that I forgive her, and I let the people of Uganda decide. Mwez says there was no complainant against Nyanzi, and it appears that the board suspended Nyanzi to please the first lady. Where does the appointments board now come to punish the same person who was forgiven from the Christian point of view? Of course, we could undermine that one as well. But to us, it feels that maybe appointments board want to appease the first lady. Our efforts to speak to the chairperson of University Appointments Board, Bruce Balaba, were fruitile as he did not respond to our phone calls. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.